Hey everyone, it's Tom here with Hilltop Machine Works. We are back in the shop. Got a small little project. Um, but before I say that, um, if my voice sounds a little bit funny or different and loud, it's because I'm trying out this new Sarmonic microphone. So hopefully this thing will work better than just the side mics on the GoPro. So anyways, what I've got is I had this air gun and I was using it on the mill. The problem is it has this like built-in safety feature. So it only let so much PSI go through the tube and it's got like a pressure relief valve. So um, it just kind of, you know, it doesn't really blow chips that well. It's kind of weak. So the plan is to we'll just do some simple turning is we're gonna basically replicate this little piece here and uh, leave out the safety feature, so to speak, that uh, only allows so much PSI to come out through basically uh, you know, your needle tube. Oh, duh. Your needle tube. So, um, let me go grab a piece of stock. This is just aluminum, so we're just going to turn it out aluminum. And uh, we'll get over to the lathe and we'll get this uh, short little project done. That way um, I can keep this blow gun and don't have to waste like 18 bucks and buy another one. It's better. Well, I'm trying to pull some measurements off this thing to uh, get an idea how to make it. And let me show you what I found. Um, if you look, this has got a seam. So this was cast. This is a, a 684 gauge pan, so it fits in, but <laughs> I mean, you can see the see the wobble there. So yeah, the hole or bore is actually oval shaped, so this is going to make it fun. So it actually comes out. Say. 695 <laughs> and there's 680 682 683 so yeah alrighty great well, let me go get a piece of stock and we'll go over to the lathe and um, see what we can do alrighty let's get this uh, party started 1 inch 6061 chucked up so let's uh, get going to making this little part. Just a quick face. I'll take most all off anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but just to help the pilot hole. to uh, take down the, uh, the neck, I guess, to about 600,000.
seven fifty. I do three quarters of an inch. Anyways, I'm gonna knock it down and I'll bring it back. Let's see if we got her. Shooting for about six hundred. I said this isn't critical, but you know, it's always nice to see if you can get your numbers right. Yeah, I'll take that. Cool. Break this edge. contour to this edge up here Depth is going to be more than that radius here. Let me play around. Let me see. Get got another tool. All right, I dropped in this radius tool here. Let's see how she works. Hope she's on center height. I just threw it in the holder. Didn't look too bad. So actually I, uh, I left it with a couple steps, so it actually looks pretty cool that way instead of uh, rounding it all, give it a little character. So uh, now I guess to go ahead and uh, we'll drill out the hole, because this is a 1 8 by 2017 pipe tap that goes in here. Put your top side, see how that looks. You're going to be in my way for a little bit while I... Uh, his tail stock up. a hole. We'll use our DRO too. And I might need to slow her down. Let's see if she likes it or not though. Good speed. Got the tap marked. Let's see how she does. Thank you. 
come on, I got a booger in there. Ah, let me play with it a little bit here, see what's going on. All right, I had a little booger on it. Cool. So now I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this three jaw off and, and hold on actually let me think about this because originally I was going to turn this down to half and then put it in a 5C collet. Um, hmm, I'm going to just go ahead and part this off and then we just hold it in the three jaw. Alright, uh, let's part this thing off. Solder down. Carriage is locked. gear Flipped around, faced her off. Need to do is uh, turn this OD down to that uh, 684, so she'll fit in the gun. Even though that that bore on that gun is uh, oblonged. <laughs> Well, we're shooting for about 684. Four nine. Oh, there's any taper in this thing? Hopefully not. Six eighty four three. Let me get this thing out of my way. Six eighty four nine. Six eighty four eight and a half. All right. Let me see if this thing fits. Let's 
he wants to go. Let me uh, let me just polish her a little bit. She'll probably slide on. I'll break that edge too. That may help. Needs just a little bit of love. That hole wasn't oblong, it should fit. See that? Oh man. <laughs> she wants to so bad, don't she? Yep. Uh, we're almost there, aren't we? Alright, a little more. Well, I've had to play around with her. Um, since this is cast, it starts out at a decent uh, ID and then it just kind of gets smaller down there. It's almost like it's got a little bit of a taper, you know. So I've had to play with this. Finally, got her so she looks like she wants to fit good. So what I have to do is uh, get her out and uh, drill a pin, and uh, this thing will probably be done. Well, nothing special. I didn't show you drilling it, but <clears throat> it's a tapered pin, so I drilled it uh, like a 19 and then a 20 on the other side and ran the pin in. And as you can see, she's good and snug, so let's hope we did this right. And uh, we'll have us a repaired pistol grip air gun. Thing started. Uh, nope. All right, let me give us the air. Sweet! That's what I'm talking about, baby. That'll blow some chips. All right. Well, appreciate you following along. Just a little quick fix here, just a little turning. As you can see, she came out pretty good. So, hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll catch you on the next one.